The Duchess of Cambridge, aged 35, graciously acknowledges the cheering crowds as she arrives at the V&A, conveniently located just a short distance from her official residence at Kensington Palace. Lydia Hunt, a six-year-old with a special role, presents Kate with a lovely bouquet, extending a warm welcome to the Art Institute. Kate exudes Jackie O'Chick in a tweed dress by Govsey, reminiscent of the former U.S. First Lady's iconic style. Delighted by the pretty bouquet from Lydia V and A director Tristram Hunt's daughter, Kate, who has a keen interest in art, prepares to tour the new exhibition spaces. During her visit, Kate will unveil a commemorative plaque, officially marking the opening of the V&A Exhibition Road Quarter. Well practiced in her graceful entrances, Kate steps out of her car with effortless charm, greeted by museum staff, including director Tristram Hunt and his daughter Leah, who performs the special task of presenting flowers. Accessorized with simple pearl earrings and a touch of blusher, Kate unveils the plaque at the V&A Museum, inaugurating the multi-million pound extension. Following the official visit, the Duchess leaves the new courtyard. The next part of her engagement involves a tour of the V&A Exhibition Road Quarter's innovative spaces, designed by British architect Amanda Levy and her practice ALA, promising to transform the visitor experience at the V&A. Condé Nast President and V&A Chairman Nicholas Coleridge provides Kate with an overview of the new layout, left. The Duchess accents the red trim on her dress with a matching shade in her clutch, right? The renovations have unveiled the historic facades of the museum's Great Eye buildings for the first time. Kate, in a gussy tweed dress costing £1,790, beams as she prepares to officially open the new exhibition quarters at London's V&A. Walking through the world's first porcelain-tiled courtyard, which hovers above a new column-free gallery, Kate unveils a plaque to mark the opening of the V&A Exhibition Road Quarter. The Duchess, known for her elegant style, received flowers from six-year-old Leah Hunt, daughter of V&A director Tristram Hunt. During the tour, Kate, who typically lets her brunette locks flow, wore a half a perdo. She is given a VIP tour by Matt Hancock, Secretary of State for Digital, Amanda Levy, the architect of the extension, and Tristram Hunt, the director of the V&A. The Duchess, an art enthusiast, smiles as she learns about the new exhibition space. Visitors to the V&A couldn't resist snapping photos of Kate, who is set to take up permanent residence near the museum at Kensington Palace in the autumn. Kate is keenly interested in the V&A's new facilities, showcasing her own artistic skills by sketching an image of St. Mark's Church Inglefield for her sister Pippa's wedding booklet. The Duchess also visits the newly created underground Sainsbury Gallery with Tristram Hunt, architect Amanda Levitt, and museum president Nicholas Coleridge. As Kate bids farewell, she climbs into her waiting car, having spent the morning inaugurating new facilities at London's V&A. The trio of Kate, Tristram Hunt, and architect Amanda Levy examines the surroundings in the newly created underground Sainsbury Gallery. The Duchess walks in the newly created Sackler Courtyard with Tristram Hunt, the director of the V&A, and Nicholas Coleridge, the museum's president.